question that I'm often asked is, why did I decide to become a chemist? And I normally respond because of my farming background. Growing up on the farm, science was everywhere around me, from the pH of the soil to how the plants produce their energy. Farming has been in my family for over 100 years, starting with my great-great-grandfather. His legacy has been passed down through the generations, and I'm proud to continue that heritage. Farmers have multiple roles. They are the biologists who are growing the crops, chemists who are protecting the crops from insects and weeds, engineers and mechanics who are maintaining the farm equipment, businessmen and accountants who are securing the financial future of the farm, and the jobs are never ending and the tasks endless. However, my great-grandfather would not recognize the farming of today and the rate of change is increasing. The incorporation of computer technologies in the mid-1990s allows farmers to plow, plant, and harvest the fields more efficiently. I remember when we first bought our GPS unit, I was a sophomore in high school. In high school and college, I started to ask myself, how can I be a part of this technological change that has transformed farming? My answer came nine years later as a PhD candidate at Washington University in St. Louis, where I joined the Center for Sustainable Materials Chemistry. The CSMC's vision combines the technology and issues of sustainable materials fabrication methods, which can impact the future of farming. The CSMC is driving forward basic research in the development of water processed metal oxide clusters and thin films, and applying those new solution methods to the development of high performance electronic devices such as computer displays and energy devices, such as thin film solar cells. My research focuses on the characterization of those materials using solid state nuclear magnetic resonance. Using NMR, we can probe the local environment of those clusters and films and determine the structure of those materials. By understanding the structure of these materials, we can gain insights into what makes a better performing device and apply that technology to technology in the consumer world. The devices that stem from CSMC's research will lead to a more sustainable and economical manufacturing of electronics and will slowly make their way into the consumer's hands and quite possibly the farming community. For example, their new Retina 5K display from Apple contains CSMC's technology in thin film transistors. The CSMC is constantly working to advance the cluster and film chemistry to make greener and more efficient materials. Hopefully, one day, I will be able to see this technology applied to the agricultural world, where we will see its applications in the tractor's onboard computer displays, and even in the farms where energy is supplied entirely from solar cells. Sustainability is a way of life for farmers. It always has been. Being part of a community of scientists, driving the materials field toward a sustainable and greener future is very gratifying. And it's a great opportunity to be a farmer and a chemist who's working towards a more sustainable future for the generations to come.